行刺。哈。Too easy. Restrain yourself. Ha. Won't hurt. I won't give you. More than you. Are you ready? Pain will only last an instant. Your Ratatosk, summoned spirit of the giant Carlon tree, correct? Some have called me by that name. Ratatosk, the current balance of mana in the natural world, is in a state of chaos. We believe your power is necessary to restore the correct balance. Even if I adjust the balance of mana, the world will die without a tree to sustain it. We have heard that a new tree has been born. But, as far as we can tell, the summoned spirit of the new tree doesn't possess your power to control the flow of mana. <laughs> so? So please, please use your centurions to restore the balance of mana. If you do that, then the world will be saved. Awaken! Centurions, restore the bond with your monsters and repair the mana of the world. And then, go and eradicate mankind, who destroyed my tree. Wh what are you doing? You want to save the world, right? Yes, but you don't have to kill everyone to do that. Who destroyed the giant Carlon tree, hmm? It was the humans and the half-elves. That's why they deserve the same treat themselves. But a new world tree has been born in the world. And it's just a matter of time before you humans and half-elves destroy that one as well. Don't you understand? You people are nothing more than parasites on this no, world. No, that's not true. Humans and half-elves are, are a very important part of this. Silence! And there you have it. You see, the world is no worse off without that parasite. How could you? You... You damn bastard! <laughs> Sudden he... He... I will avenge Aster's death! So you think means and methods don't matter, as long as you get what you want? 
First you used Daddy to kill all of those innocent people. And now you want to kill Emil, who always believed in you? Aster was also innocent. <gasps> I can't let you kill Renatosk. Lloyd Irving, why do you insist on getting in my way? Why does it matter to you? At this moment, I'm going to stop you as Emil's friend. <laughs> I guess you can't use the power from the demonic realm as often as you'd like. Aramis! They got away. Emil, are you all right? Even if... if my powers are still weak from just waking, a mere mortal wounding me? Sakwa? Give that to me! I cannot allow Lord Ratatosk to be killed. I will avenge Aster's death! I'm... Ratatosk? Lord Ratatosk. I'm Emil. I'm sure you've remembered it all now. I remember being killed by Richter. But how could that be my own memory? Ratatosk scores on Marta's forehead! On the night of the Blood Purge, you hatched from your core in response to Lady Marta's cries for help. By placing a fake core on her forehead, you were able to turn the enemy's eyes towards her and away from you. You're saying I did that so they'd go after Marta instead of me? Yes. That's horrible! Having just awoken, you needed time to regain your former strength. And the power you once possessed has started to return little by little. believe this. I was using a girl to save myself. A girl who told me she loved me. It's cruel. You may have been cruel. As Lord Ratatosk, that is. Uh huh? But the part of you that is Lord Emile has given everything to protect Lady Marta. And I detected no calculation or self-interest in that. Tenebrae. This is only one Centurion's impression. says that I'm not Emil, but I have memories of my childhood, vivid memories, with my mother and father. Memories can lie. They were added after the fact so you could play the part of Emil more convincingly. Tenebrae, stop this! Now that the enemy knows Lord Emil is Lord Ratatosk, it would be dangerous to keep him ignorant of his true identity. And as a servant of Lord Ratatosk, it is my duty to keep Lord Emil safe. 
least give him a minute to catch his breath. Emil, Daddy wants to see you. Will you come? Brute wants to see me? Sure, I guess. Good. He's downstairs. Let's go together. Okay. said that memories can lie, and I agree with him. Marta. We all have a couple of misconceptions, or things we've convinced ourselves happened a certain way when they actually didn't. Memory isn't an exact science, but it's something we depend on. I mean, what else can we turn to in the end? But that doesn't mean that the journey you and I have shared so far is a lie. There's nothing false about it. I'm not sure the best way to say this, but the Emil I know is really Emil. Thanks, Marta.
Commander Brute's condition is still serious. Try to keep your conversation brief. Your name is Emil, correct? I'd like to thank you for saving my daughter. It, it's fine. I, I'm sorry for what we did to you. You needn't apologize. It's thanks to you I came back to my senses. Um, there was something you wanted to see me about? I hear that you are close to Richter. I know I've done many terrible things, but allow me to give you one warning. The one who fashioned the Vanguard into the militant organization it is now was him. Do not trust Richter. But... I'm not saying this as an excuse for what I've done. I have a deep hatred for Tetha Allah and the Church of Martel. I founded the Vanguard for my own reasons. But if it wasn't for Richter, the Vanguard would have never attained the sort of power it now wields. His words had a strange quality to them, a strong pull that I couldn't resist. A strong pull? I've ordered the surviving Vanguard members to lay down their arms. I'm sure most will follow my orders, but there are many others still loyal to Richter. They may regroup and thrust our world into chaos once again. Marta, do you know where Richter went? Regal and the others are trying to find out now. After all I've done, I have no right to ask you this. But I want you to stop Richter. You bested me even while I was using the power of Solom's core. I know you can do it. But I... I might be the one who's going to destroy the world. I'm afraid I must ask you to let Commander Brute rest now. I'm counting on you. There you are. What is it, Prisea? We know where Richter went. Regal's waiting in the rooftop garden at Lazareno headquarters. Let's go. Daddy looked like he used to. He's been freed from the effects of the core. I'm happy for you. Yeah. His wounds will need time to heal, but the doctor says he's making a strong recovery. Take good care of him. I will. I've been thinking. After our journey's over and Daddy's well again, I want to help him make up for what he's done. You really love him, don't you? A of course. Dex and now Commander Brute. The effects of the cores are more dangerous than I thought. But I can't imagine Persea would change that much from how she is now. No, me neither. Really? Many people tell me I've changed a lot from how I used to be. You have? Like how? Well, I didn't speak as much, and I didn't show any emotion. I also laugh more than I did before, and I have more of an appetite. But... But... I've been told my original personality, before everything happened, was more bright and cheery than now. Huh?
Lloyd! Hey, Emil. We found Richter. It appears he went to an old ruin known as the Otherworldly Gate. Why would he go there? That is where the Ginungagap is located. The legendary rift between worlds. The Ginungagap connects this world and Nivelheim, the demonic realm. It is where Lord Ratatos created the door which he guarded, and the very spot where Aster was killed. Richter might be using the Ginungagap to get new powers from the demons. Demons? What do you mean? Richter's been making pacts with the demons of Nivelheim in exchange for their power. Can he really do that? He used that power to attack us. The only way he could have done that is if he'd already made a pact with them. That's ridiculous. The demons of Nivelheim would not give their power without receiving something in return. Wait. If Richter seeks the death of Lord Ratatosk, that would be in their interest. What do you mean? The Ginungagap is protected by Lord Ratatosk's existence. So long as Lord Ratatosk is alive, the demons are unable to open the gate. So Richter's borrowing the power of the demons in exchange for killing Emil. Am I really Ratatosk? I still can't believe it. It's only natural that it wouldn't seem real to you. Your current personality is a fabrication put together by Lord Ratatosk. Lord Ratatosk's own memories are kept by the side all of you know as his Ratatosk mode. Don't call him a fabrication! I know it's hard to accept, Marta, but what Tenebrae is saying is most likely correct. Rain has thought from the very beginning that Emile's personality was established to protect another identity within himself. So you think Emile isn't real either? No. I think both of his personalities are as much Emile's as they are Ratatosk's. I can't believe this. I know this is difficult for you, and it'll take some time for you to sort out. So I'm... Ratatosk? I think I can shed some light on Emile's questions. What do you mean? I've made a pact, so I can't say anything about it for the time being. But I can take you to someone who can. Please, take me to him. I'd like to know too, and maybe whoever it is can tell us something about what you've been doing all this time, Lloyd. Come to the World Tree. The Tree's Guardian will tell you what you need to know. I'll wait for you there. Lloyd, wait! So Emil, what will you do? Are you gonna go there? Yes. Of course I'm still worried about Richter. But first, I need to find out who I am. You're taking me with you, right? Why do you want to come? I might actually be Ratatosk. I might be trying to destroy the world. I don't care about that. I've traveled with you all this time, and I know you're not that sort of person. We all know that, right guys? Thanks everyone. the mana-producing tree that was born after the giant Carlon tree withered, correct? What is its name? Well, that came out of the blue. Who cares? It's just a name, right? If it has a name, I've never heard of it. I'd like nothing more than to answer all your questions, Marta, my dear. Zelos. Don't worry, Perseia. I won't break my promise to Martel. Your promise to Martel? As in Martel the goddess? Well, yeah. That's the one. You met with Martel? That's incredible. I guess you really are the Chosen of the Church. <laughs> Martel helped us out quite a bit during our last journey. No way! You actually got to meet a goddess? Okay, okay, one at a time. Settle down now. What a clever way to change the subject. I wonder what the guardian of the world tree is like. What will we do if he's mean and scary? Come on, Colette, don't start. You're gonna make me all nervous. I, for one, hope the Guardian is a beautiful maiden. Come to think of it, I won't accept anything less. 
At least you are consistent, Chosen One. Come on, rather than some buff axe-wielding dude, wouldn't you rather have a hottie guardian with a killer bod? I mean, I'd take an elegant petite guardian too, of course. I hope the guardian has paw pads. Yes, I concur. Remember, we are speaking of the guardian of the world tree. It's probably something akin to a centurion, filled with knowledge of the ancient world. A creature like me? Then that would mean... The Guardian's really old. Mm. So, to sum up, the Guardian is a wise old lady with a killer body and paw pads. I really hope not. Thank you. 